Hello dear students and a very warm welcome to this open course titled Design and Analysis of Algorithm. As you may very well be knowing that the significant number of tasks that we perform or witness on daily basis follow some kind of a sequence or a well defined procedure. In computer science we call it an algorithm. For example, every day we try to find the shortest path between our house and the office. Or for instance, if we have to arrange the names of students in an alphabetic order or say we have to search for a specific word in dictionary. We may use some sort of searching or sorting technique that helps us to either solve these problems or at least speed up the search. In essence, most of the things that we do or witness are algorithmic in nature. Algorithms are essential in solving large scale problems and there may exist one or more than one algorithm for a specific problem. It's always desirous to reduce the time and maximize the performance while solving a problem and as such, we need to analyze these algorithms for correctness and efficiency in terms of time and space. During this online course, we shall be looking at different tools and techniques that have been developed to handle large scale and complex problems. While the design part of this course shall lay more emphasis on the key aspects in the development of new algorithms, the analysis part shall help you better understand what resource an algorithm may use to reach a solution. The main objective of this course is to make you familiar with subjects concerning algorithmic complexity. By the end of this course, it's expected that you should be able to understand the use of several design techniques, write and solve recurrence relations for recursive algorithms, determine asymptotic growth rates for algorithms, and establish correctness of algorithms. We have structured this course in four units, within which the topics that shall be broadly covered include introduction to algorithms, asymptotic notations, growth of functions, sorting and searching, greedy method, dynamic programming, backtracking, branch and bound, lower bound theory, and approximation algorithms. Students, I look forward for you to join this course and I am hopeful you will find it interesting and at the same time this course shall help you to enrich your knowledge on the concepts of algorithms. Good luck.